What up, my most beautiful tubers? We're back for some more drafting here on Magic Online, some more of this vintage cube draft. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numat for all your Magic card needs. Vintage cube, pick one, pack one. We got a couple of options here, seeing as we don't have power. I think the top two among them are going to be Fable of the Mirror Breaker and Teferi. Other decent choices, I think Narset's pretty good, Time Warp's great, I do like Stoneforge Mystic if you're going to be playing white. Eh, it's probably Fable of the Mirror Breaker for me, although I prefer gameplay with Teferi. I think if this was some high competitive event, you'd probably take Fable, but I'm going to take the Teferi here instead. Just... A card I enjoy a lot more, so pretty easy pickup. And another pretty easy pickup here is the Orcish Bowmaster. This is one of the better cards in the cube. This is um, top 15 cards, top 20 cards in, in the cube. So not hard to take that here over not really much. I mean, some okay cards. It's kind of crazy how far Jace has fallen off <laughs> in terms of power level. but. I think this is where we're at. I like Enlightened Tutor. I like Relic, Oracle, aforementioned Jace. Yeah, this is... Nothing stands close to the Bowmaster. And okay, I mean, I guess the hits are going to continue as we're getting a third pick, Minsk and Boo. Again, another probably top 15 or 20 card in the cube. So Bowmaster into Minsk and Boo. This is, look at this, we took a blue-white card, then a black card, now we're taking a red-green card. Already five-color good stuff, huh? Kind of wish I'd taken the Fable of the Mirror Breaker now, given the following picks, but it is what it is. We are going to prioritize, wow, 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 we are just getting so many of the best cards in the cube. Our first pick was our worst card. We're now getting a Hole Breacher, which is another fantastic one. I will note, though, Hole Breacher and Bowmaster aren't really a combo, right? Um, with Bowmaster, you want to draft draw sevens to make your opponent take infinite damage and make a huge creature. With Hole Breacher, you get a bunch of treasure instead of them drawing cards. But yeah, this is excellent fourth pick here. We're passing a Volcanic and a Bolt. I don't pass a Breach. Very, very good start, power level-wise. Can we keep it up? No, the drop-off is real. There's like an Imperial Seal here, which I think is good, given the power level of the cards I have already. No fixing, unfortunate. Yeah, I think this is just Seal over, over nothing. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I would say there's a... Probably a decent chance I don't end up running one of the uh, these cards just for mana requirements unless I can pick up a lot of good fixing, but yeah, <laughs> which is kind of nice. Okay, next pack, we have a couple pieces of fixing here. We also have a Savin's Reclamation, which is really, really good with what we have. Getting back Bowmasters or Hole Breacher or Teferi are all kind of nice, right? This is just a permanent. Um, I guess a white-black Greenland looks pretty good here, too. I suppose I should probably play it smart and take the land, even though that's not what I want to take. Yeah, if this was like the Esper land, it would be nuts. But in Death of Triumph is a little bit weird. Oh well. Next pack we have do 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 another pretty weak one. There's a Peatland, a Raging Ravine. Neither of those are all that enticing. There's a Lightning Greaves, which I guess Greaves actually has a couple of good equips already, right? Good on Bowmaster, good on Breacher, and good on Boo. I suppose that's good enough. 
snuff out. Oh, Timeless Dragon is just a basic, no, uh, any plane cycling, right? Yeah. So you can grab like Triumph with that. Chariot's good. Gut's good. Snuff out's good. I'm going to take the snuff out here, I think. Quote unquote free removal spells are a little bit too strong. Time Warp Wheeling, we will take that. Passing a Coast and a Yog Moth. Don't care, rather, Urborg. We don't care about those. Yeah, uh, the guess here is that Minsk and Boo's not going to make the cut, and we're going to do some nasty, like, Esper control ish build. <laughs> Esper good card build. We're just really far away from casting this Minskin Boo. Even if it's maybe my best card I've got I've drafted so far. Uh Lingering Souls? I guess that would make sense here. I I really dislike Lingering Souls and Vintage Cube though, like the power level is just not high enough, but it is a good card. I almost want to take the Thassa's Oracle and see if we can still combo. I'm going to do that instead. Just a lot more fun. All right, Boo. Get on the board. Can I get Shouldred the Apocalypse for the uh, trifecta of creatures that do things when your opponent draws cards? The Bowmaster, the Breacher, and Shouldred? Then we just need to take all the draw sevens we can get. Time Spiral, Time Twister, and whatnot. Oh, there's Brain Freeze, too. Okay. That is excellent. Really glad I took the Oracle now, because the combo plan is alive and well. Shorakai is also quite valuable. Four mana, 8-8, eight, eight, crew 8 vehicle, but the ability, uh, the activated ability draws two cards, discards a card, makes a 1-1 one, one just for one mana. Really strong. I didn't see Lion's Eye Diamond or Underworld Breach go around already, did I? I don't think so. Escape Shift? Oh, there's the Reclamation back, too. Pretty good. Ooh, Reclamation's really nice with Brain Freeze and Oracle. Nice, nice, nice wheel. Because you can even just mill the Savin's Reclamation with the Brain Freeze. And as long as you've milled your Oracle, too, you can pay five and effectively insta-win, right? Assuming you've milled out your library. <clears throat> okay. Pack 2 is a bust on power. There is a mind twist there. I don't like that card. It's just good, but it's not what I want to take. Um, Mystical Tutor doesn't really have any hits currently, so we're going to be looking at fixing here, I guess. First pick Dark Slick Shores. Over Preordain. Ugh. Another pretty sad first pick, but maybe we can get past some good ones again like we did last pack. Confluence is Dece. Lorien Revealed is good if I can find some uh, island dual islands to grab. Metamorph is fine. Teferi. Kind of like taking Confluence here. Not sure that's 100% correct, though. Yo, there's a pack. True Name ne Nemesis, Dig Through Time, Tinker, Spell Pierce, Colonnade. This is probably early enough in the draft to take the Tinker and see if that works out. I don't have many artifacts right now, nor do I really have an artifact to grab, but... If you want to just take the good safe card, it's True Name. If you want to take the fun, busted card, it's Tinker. Oh, there's the Time Twister. Nice. Really wanted to find that one with Hole Breacher and Bowmaster. Good, 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 good. No way we're passing that. 
Yawgmoth's will. I could storm. I could definitely be storming here. Urza, Tezzeret, Luris is kind of juicy. The Dreams of Steel and Oil is a fine discard effect, and Petal are all good. Uh, I'm guessing this is better off just taking the Petal. It's also better with Tinker and Time Twister. Inquisition of Kozilek or Beseech the Mirror combo card. Lose focus for counter magic is like okay. Let's take the hand disruption here. Very good possibility that this brain freeze oracle plan is going to be a bust. Oh, maybe not. Now we're going to get Jace, Wielder of Mysteries, for an extra Oracle Wincon or Dark Ritual. Had I taken Will, the Ritual would be much better. I don't actually think the Ritual is all that good right now. Okay, let's do it. Jace, Oracle, Brain Freeze. I think we have to go for some... Some plan of winning with mill out. <laughs> See, white, black, blue, black. We definitely need to get some more fixing. Fixing right now is quite poor. I hope we can get Doomsday. That would be really cool. High Tide Currency Converter. High Tide doesn't look good enough. Currency Converter is just a good card. Whenever you discard a card, you can exile it from your graveyard. And then tap to tap it and loot. And then you can just tap it and put a card exiled into your graveyard and either get a treasure or get a 2-2, uh, depending on what kind of card was put in the graveyard. Land gives you treasure. Non land gives you 2 2. Mystical Tutor, pretty nice now that I have the Tinker, so we're going to take it on the wheel. Happy, happy, happy. So, still need a Tinker target. Um, best amongst them, what? Are going to be Citadel for the combo deck. What else? Oh, Teferi Wield. Citadel for combo, or we could just get like a Blight Steel or something for the Misers. Colonnade came back. Sorry, Reservoir. You're not doing that today. Reign of Filth is also super cool for the Storm deck. Uh, I don't think it's going to... I don't think this is going to make sense, though. We just don't have the good Storm cards that really enable us, right? I passed on the Dark Ritual. We don't have, like, Lion's Eye Diamond. We just don't have enough ways to make a lot of mana to utilize the Yagmas Will or Beseech or whatever. Sundering Titan, Ponder, Bloodstained Mire. Mire grabs in Death a Triome. This is just a ponder. Yeah. Pretty sad first pick. Pretty good second pick. Wow. Getting past a pearl was a gift. 
passing time spiral and Urza's saga is not a gift. Oh man, spiral is so sick with Bowmaster and Breacher, but I mean, I can't pass Pearl, obviously. There's a Tinker target if we want to. Battle Sphere. There's an Academy in this pack. Force of Negation. Scrubland. We have Academy plus Candelabra, but I don't have many artifacts. God, am I supposed to first pick, or not first pick, but am I supposed to just take Scrubland here? it has been some tough choices, man. I mean, I would not be surprised if you told me that Battle Sphere was also correct because we don't have the Tinker target yet, but I'm going to go for high upside and just take the Academy, even if it's looking a little bit sketchy right now. It's not like not at its best for sure. Uh, this might be a deck that is better in theory than in practice. Triplicate Titan, there's another good Tinker target. I just don't think Triplicate Titan and Battlesphere are what we want for this deck, though. Like, I kind of want to just take Baleful Strix here. Concealed Courtyard's also decent. Toxic Deluge is also decent. This is sad. I'm taking the Strix. If I'm wrong, so be it. Oh my god, this pack is also nuts. Hmm. Archon, Atraxa, two of the best targets for like sneak attacks or reanimates. There's an upheaval here. We're going to take this hollowed fountain though. Not going to get too greedy. Underground C, yeah, I'm going to take that over duress. What pick is this? This is pick six. So still a couple more packs to get a couple more goodies. Ah. Don't know, man. I think we're trying to do a few different things and it's not going to work out very well, but maybe. <laughs> you know, there was probably some amount of merit to just randomly taking a couple of red sources in case we got the uh, underworld breached. Oh, there's the there's the lion's eye diamond. That doesn't do much. It's only good with, what, Twister right now? I mean, there is a world where I get a last pick breach. I lose out on Sahili and Thought Scour. That's not a big deal. I guess Sculler would be good, too. Okay, well, we got there. We got there on the Tinker target. There's Bolas' Citadel. Chalice would be good, Displacer Kitten, Bitter Triumph, yeah. There's the, there's the good Tinker target we were looking for. I guess Backup Sundering Titan as a Tinker target is also fine. Um, so is this a deck that's going to want to run the LED is the question. I don't think it's good enough. Yep. 
days for a little bit of interaction. Could be okay. Is Candelabra and Academy worthwhile? Okay. Oh, with tendrils too. And I guess if I run the Yogmas, will the Lion's Eye be worthwhile? I don't think we want tendrils there. I think the Battle Sphere makes sense. Fixing over Helm of Awakening. Yeah, this deck's actually pretty cool. Is it good? I don't know, but it is cool for sure. I need to cut at least four cards here. I'm gonna count neither the LED or the pedal as actual lands. I'm a little bit worried about this Talarian Academy being good enough, but since we're playing the Battle Sphere, I guess it's fine. I guess I'll cut days. I still don't think this is a Yagmas will deck, even with LED. I guess the LED is okay still because it's an artifact for all the artifact synergies we have. Plus, we have Time Twister with a couple of different ways to tutor for it, so it's still probably worthwhile. Confluence may be a little bit too slow here. Just cutting all my counter magic. One more cut, and I think I'll be happy. One more cut. Just, just take out all my interaction, cut the days, confluence, and inquisition. Is that crazy? I guess I'm keeping snuff out. Do I even want snuff out? Maybe we sideboard snuff out and we keep inquisition. That seemed fine. Okay. And our fixing is pretty good. Blue white, blue white, black white, black white, blue black, blue black. I would not be surprised if intuition is supposed to be in the deck as well because it works well with reclamation and uh, oracle. All right, two, three, four, five, six black sources, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blue, two, three, four, five, six, seven white. Let me go down on white. 
Cool deck. Let's see if it uh, plays out as well as we hope. Definitely has uh, the potential for busted draws. All right, here we are for round one of this Vintage Cube Draft with our Esper Controlly deck. We have a hand that's all right. Oh God, can we draw our Pearl? Almost. Um, damn, not being able to Bowmaster since we're on the draw here is kind of unfortunate, but we do have the Bowmaster into Mystical Tutor for like a uh, Time Twister, potentially. Okay, that's fine. All right. Yeah, Bowmaster is going to get them. Oh, there's the Pearl. We needed that last turn. That's fine, though. We have a really good play out here. Bowmaster, kill their Mystic. We can end of turn Mystical Tutor for Time Twister. If we want to, anyways. We might not even want to do that. But I guess it's probably good enough. Oh, we can also grab Tinker, Derp. Right. That's going to be a lot better. We can go... Tinker away the Pearl. Grab our Citadel. Land from top. Oof. Brutal double hit of land there. Pass. They can make a 1-1. One, one. I don't care about that. If they want to loot, they're going to take a ping. Crucible of Worlds discarded. I don't know. Maybe I should have just grabbed Battlesphere. We went for the fun play, for sure. And there was a chance that the Citadel just popped off, but instead we hit two lands. <laughs> Oracle. All right, we might as well cast that and set up. Uh, let's take a peek at their hand and put Inquisition on top. Zerda, Shorakai, Urza, Batterskull. They got a weird one. Land for turn. Greaves. This is nice. Teferi's great. Into another Teferi's pretty good. Gonna bounce their converter here. They can make a 2 2 in response. think we want that. I think we're just going to jace ourselves here. I didn't want to play the Teferi for 5 life, I don't think. All right, replay their converter. Yeah, yeah, we're very far ahead. Time warp, that will probably do it. All right, I'm going to go to six time warp. Land. Teferi. Do I cast the Time Twister right now? I don't think I do. We don't want to give them a fresh 7, right? So let's just draw it. Cast Ponder. Shuffle our library. Hit the LED anyways.
Savin's Reclamation. Okay, now we can get back Hole Breacher. And then Twister. <laughs> We're just doing so many different things here. It's funny. I have to assume they're dead, right? All right, let's figure this out. Let's see. So let's go Reclamation on Breacher. Land Twister. I draw seven, they discard four, we get seven treasures. And they scooped. All right, perfect. <laughs> I wouldn't say we comboed them out as much as we just demolished their will to live. What did they even do? Do I bring in snuff out? No, they had a bunch of artifact stuff. I'm just going to run it back. Uh, this deck has too many different lines. Is this hand good? Yeah, I'm willing to keep this. I think I'll probably lead on Inquisition instead of Currency Converter. Oh god, they mulligan to four? We're definitely going to Inquisition them. Sheesh. Crucible Hangerback Walker. I think the only way they could maybe get me is somehow with Crucible, so I'm going to leave them with Hangerback Walker, especially since we have Teferi to bounce it. Ooh, Academy with Hanger Back Walkers may be good. That doesn't matter. Yeah, Teferi Bounce makes the most sense here, I think. Because now they can't replay it for two next turn, because the Academy's turned off, so now we get to uptick. They drew Candelabra. All right, you got me. Uptick. Float. Untap blue. Using white. Jace. Kill myself. All right, I mean, we have Brain Freeze, Oracle, LED in our hand. We can kind of go off a bit, maybe. Hey, they drew Copter, too. All right, I mean, they're drawing some cards. One spell, two spell, three spell, four. Three spell, four. No, that doesn't work. Pedal. All right, we are very close to winning, right? One spell, two spell, three spell, four, five. Oh, wait, this does win. 
This does win. Right? Oh, no, they can bounce the Oracle in response. Wait, wait, wait. They could seal. So, one spell, two spell, three spell, four spell, Oracle on the stack, Brain Freeze 15. I'd have five cards left in my... Five cards left. Oracle would be on the stack for three, four, five, six, but then they bounce it. It would be for four with five cards or one off. Okay. So we win next turn, barring any thing nasty. Because they're going to kill Teferi here. And that's the last card in their hand. All right, GG's. We're actually going to go off with a combo this turn, or this game. Uh, pretty freaking hilarious. Boom. <laughs> okay. Weird ass Esper combo. Got the first round. Let's do it again. Okay, on to round number two of this Vintage Cube draft. My hand is not very good. We would really bank on Ponder here if I were to keep this. I think with a black source it would be keepable, because then at least we'd be able to peek at their hand, but it seems, seems like an easy mulligan to me. That hand's a lot better. We can pitch the time warp here. All right, white aggro is going to be the name of the game. Shuffle that garbage away. That is not terrible, because we can sack Ellie. Or we, I guess we'd probably still sack Greaves here, wouldn't we? Ooh, black-white means they might have some good discard effects in there. Deck as well. Hmm. I mean, I'm guessing I'm probably going to want to tinker for a uh, Blightsteel Colossus or uh, Mirror Battle Sphere. That's probably the correct play. We'd be pretty happy if they just attack and activate Usher again. Lauren! Ah, well, there goes my Lightning Greaves. How rude. Oh, I want to... I want to Tinker Citadel so badly. Tinker Citadel's the fun play, but... Battle Sphere's definitely the correct play. Because even if they kill the battle sphere, we're left with a bunch of tokens that are really good versus their board. All right, untapped black source next turn for Inquisition plus holding up Breacher would be nuts. And then another land after that for Teferi. Main phase activate Lauren is good for me. And we can potentially get them with the Breacher next turn if they want to do that again. Ignoble Hierarch, that's fine. Okay, so. Kind of a mishmash of a white aggro deck, huh? Well, 
What is happening over there? Did not hit the land, dang it. Okay, I'm just gonna tap two then. Reclamation on Lightning Greaves is definitely a viable play. Ooh, they're sacking the canopy? All right, well then we'll get them this way. Boom. Minus a land for you, plus a treasure for me. Oh, that's an exile effect. Ah, that means we cannot reclamation back the breachy. Dang it. Oh no, and we would have drawn the time twister. God, where are my lands? Wrong freaking land, huh? All right, let's go to combat, attack with battle sphere. Tap all but one. Ooh, shocking themselves. They have a Bowmaster! Oh, Lord. Well, now I guess I'm not casting my... Time Twister. Shoot, that's really bad for me. Sheesh. That's super bad for us. Uh, my hand is so awkward, dang it. So, so awkward. I mean, I guess I'm just going to get the Shorakai online, even though it's terrible versus Bowmaster. I don't know if this is right or not. All of my cards are so bad versus the Bowmaster now. I guess Snuff Out's going to come in versus them. I will say this looks like a good matchup, though. I say that a lot in Vintage Cube, but I think when I do say it, it's true. Yeah, I'm at eight. So they can activate Lauren here to ping me for or one of my tokens again for one and get another zombie. What was that? Oh, Cycle Triome. Huh. That's their best play? Make a token. Okay. 
man, Toxic Deluge here on one would be so backbreaking. This is a really sad play, but I think it's the play I need to make. Just tuck the Bowmaster. Pass. That goes three down, so they can't draw it this turn with Lorin. Okay, main phase activate. Finally found a black mana source. I mean, we had the treasure earlier, but. Cycle Trium, all right, so they do have their Bowmaster again. They're going to main phase shoot the Teferi, would be my guess. Yeah. Dang it, dude. Ugh. I told you, man. Bowmaster is just incredible. Maybe we can draw our own bat Bowmaster here. Bad. So bad. Dude, come on. Mm. Oh, that damn two drop. <sighs> Snuff out doesn't even kill it. In fact, is Snuff out even worth bringing in versus them? It kills like Lauren. I'm debating if I want to chump with my uh, colonnade. I don't think I do. I think we just go to three, and if they have a way to make me draw three cards, I die. Lauren can do one, but... Timeless dragon? Like, please don't let me lose to these. Bowmaster versus the world, and the Bowmaster is winning. I'm not missing anything, I don't think, right? I can't activate this, otherwise I die. <sighs> okay, so Teferi... This doesn't even work either. Yeah, this doesn't work. What I'm going to do is Teferi bounce the Bowmaster. They can activate Lauren in response. And then just recast the Bowmaster. But I don't have an option. If they mess up and let this resolve, maybe... But they should activate this ping to fairy, right? Yeah, they see the play. Uh. 
That ain't gonna do it either. Uh... I don't think I have any outs now, right? Inquisition, they just cast it in response. Then I could draw two in response and die. Or most likely die anyways. I don't think we have any outs, but... We'll play it to its conclusion. We'll go for Inquisition, they'll flash out the Bowmaster, I'll activate Shorakai. Alright, GG's. Soloed by one card, and I can't even bring in Snuff Out for it. That feels really bad. Again, I think I stand by the play of Tinkering for Battle Sphere and not the Citadel. I do not have many ways to deal with an opposing Bowmaster, though. It's like, draw my own, and Bowmaster their Bowmaster. We bounced it a few times, but that wasn't relevant enough. Yeah, let's just run it back. <laughs> we got <laughs> absolutely wrecked by one card. Oh, lordy. All right, on to game two. Would I be able to Mystical Tutor for? We already have the Tinker. I think this is a Mulligan. If we had a cheap artifact, maybe we keep that, but I can't keep that hand. Man, this hand's really bad, too. This is a Mulligan to five. All right. So what I can do here is Imperial Seal for Mox Pearl. And then turn two Tinker. I'm going to really want to grab Citadel. But I suppose Battle Sphere is probably good. God, Citadel is so tempting. Should we do it? Should we just go for Citadel and have some fun? I'm gonna do it. Let's just have some fun. Okay, that's a good start. Hopefully draw past the land into something else. Nope, okay. Well, even if they deal with the Citadel now, we have an active Teferi, so I'd say that was a success. <laughs> Not a bad mulligan to five. All right, we're going to lead with the Inquisition. Yikes, that's bad. Too many lands on top. Is this the Bowmaster? They did have the Bowmaster again. My lord, dude. Good beats. They're going to shoot to fairy. All right, what else they got in their hand? Reanimate and Seal of Removal. Their hand is actually really bad after that, so. Do I care about them having Reanimate? I guess we don't care about the seal, just take the reanimate. 
Ugh. Um. Okay, let's tuck the Bowmaster. Ponder. Nice, 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 nice hits. Their hand is Seal of Removal and Garbage. Okay, that's fine. So we can go top, top, top. No shuffle. Breacher. Battle Sphere. Go. <sighs> I mean, two is a little bit scary knowing that they have the Bowmaster, but. I think what their plan might be to do here is just like play their Godless Shrine untapped and cycle their Rogrin Triumph, trying to draw the Bowmaster next turn. But we'd be able to get them because if they just do just pass with three mana open, we get to uh, Time Twister and. Well, win, I guess. Yep, called it Godless Shrine Pass. Unless they drew something else. They drew Pest Infestation? That's annoying. All right, we're not going to play the land from top in case we hit um, Talarian Academy here. Beautiful. There's our own Bowmaster as well. They have zero cards in their hand. Uh, what else can I tinker for? Not too much, Shorikai. Now we get to do the reverse Bowmaster. And say go. Mind twist for two. All right, GG's. Nice. Okay. Ah, don't draw your bowmaster opponent, please. I beg of you. They do have some very good cards versus us. Maybe this isn't as good of a matchup as I thought. I still think it's probably fine, though. But they have, like, the pest infestation in addition to the Lauren for extra... Artifact interactions kind of annoying. In fact, maybe Shorakai is not even good here. Let's bring in the snuff out over Shorakai. Kind of want to bring in the confluence as well, but I think we go without it. All right, game three we go. It's not a busted hand, but it's a good enough opener, right? 
Turn one Cam into Labra, turn two Strix or Greaves if we want. Candelabra with Talarian Academy is kind of great. Oh, very much hoping that they don't once again have the Bowman to ruin my life, because this hand is not great versus the Bow, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the Bowmaster. All right, they get to steal either Strix or Greaves. That is rather annoying. That's an exile on the Strix, okay. And a Mox. Is this Pest Infest? Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. They can't Pest Infestation with just X as one. Yeah, they've got some good silver bullets versus me. I wouldn't even call them silver bullets. Catch-alls. Yeah, see, God, man, come on. So annoying. Bowmaster, something. I don't think we just fire off Time Twister there yet. There's our Bowmaster, and we are going to definitely leave that on top. Oh, I guess it's not even good versus their Ballista. They just get to shoot it, don't they? Ah, maybe that's not even good. Yeah, maybe that wasn't even right. Probably just wanted to draw land. Maybe I do just fire off the twister now then. Okay. All right, well, I don't love it, but you got to do what you got to do. Holy moly, dude. Actual, like, worst possibles here? <laughs> yeah, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. I don't know if we can... Salvage this hand now. What on earth? That's so bad. Okay, good beats. We don't really care about that because the Citadel and the Battle Sphere. Well, the Battle Sphere would have been nice, but it's still pretty far away. Unless we draw like our mocks or something. Yeah, horrendous draw for us, man. I mean, Teferi uptick and holding up snuff out is not the end of the world, so I suppose there's that.
Yeah, so frustrating. What a terrible set of draws. Citadel and Battlesphere were literally the two worst possible hits. In addition to a bunch of Planeswalkers, this Mind Twist for small. Oh, Pest Infestation again. Yeah, I did reshuffle that back for them, so... Non-black, but non-artifact, but not non-artifact. If they want a seal of removal, their heart, I'm okay with that. Okay, hey, that was a good draw. That was a great draw. That lets me cast my Teferi this turn. They can kill Teferi here, if they would like to. They're also untapping with six cards in their hand still, but... Um, Time Twister's gone. I don't have another way to reshuffle, right? It would just be Savin's Reclamation on our Oracle if the Oracle dies. All right, Jace down. Sorry, Teferi down, rather. The Grave Titan? What the heck is that? Love it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, we might be dead next turn. Wow, I can almost hard cast Citadel here. That's sick. Looking pretty dead. There goes our reclamation, though. Good beats. Good beats. Yeah, if they can just kill Arthas's Oracle, we're dead. Ah, well. Ah, man. Brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. I guess there's a small chance. I mean, maybe they just attack with everything. Assuming they don't have removal and I'm not just dead. We chump the Titan. We take infinite, but... Oh, it's just prismatic. That'll do her. That's 15, 16, 17, 18, or something. Yeah, I think this should have been an okay matchup. Maybe not as good as I first stated, because they do have a lot of good interaction, but man, especially that first time twister, we just drew nothing. Like, GG's. Alrighty, round three here. Let's try to salvage a two and one with a very, very nice looking opening hand. We could turn one to fairy if we wanted to. Hmm. Although I think we'd rather save the Teferi and probably try to get the big one out on turn um, two or three or something. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, well, now I guess we just play out the Teferi.
We're just going to uptick here. Demonic Tutor. Okay, scary things ahead of us. So very likely to see a potential reanimate go off next turn would be my guess. I'm going to bounce this for starters. Inquisition wasn't the worst draw. We go land, converter, yeah, to ferry, uptick, pass. Oh, strip mine on Academy. Boo. Damn, that's annoying. Well, that ruins that plan. Maybe that's all they had. Maybe they tutored for the strip mine, hoping to kill the academy before I got anything done. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll take that. I think versus Reanimator, we're going to bring in the Confluence. All right, on to game number two of the third and final round. I'm going to keep this hand on the draw. If we just find any land or any mana source, we will be okay. Evoke Grief. All right, well, thankfully, they cannot take lands with that. I wonder if they have the reanimate, though. Turn one Grief, reanimate it. What do you take here if they're them? If you're them, rather. Currency Converter now? <laughs> they took the Tinker. All right, they're scared. I guess maybe, again, they have the reanimate for the grief. Oh, they didn't. So, funny thing about the currency converter, it does not care about how you discarded cards. So, if my opponent makes me discard again next turn, I can actually get some value by making a 2 2 after the fact. Kind of silly. Oh, no! <laughs> well, we risked it for the biscuit. Okay. Drew a land. Still gonna need one more though now. That's hilarious. Womp womp. I don't, I mean, I could go grab Ponder with Mystical Tutor. That's like a really safe play. Oh, this is too funny. Especially since Tinker's gone, grabbing Ponder is not that bad. Yeah, okay. I mean, actually, I'm just going to let them do this. I don't care if they take my Mystical Tutor. We're going to draw land. I, I know it. I feel it. They took Teferi. That's a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, I should really just be smart and grab Ponder. Yeah, fine. I don't want to, but I'm going to. Do 
Do we shuffle that? Yes, question mark. Greed again, strikes. <laughs> One land wasn't good enough for me. How about zero lands instead? This is just too funny. <laughs> kind opponent. It's an honor to crush me. Land? Oh no, dude. Okay, this is actively hilarious. Hardcast Grizzle Brand incoming. Would love to see it. Yay! Land! Um, I think discarding Battlesphere would be very, very poor decisions. It would be a very poor decision, that is. Because they are on Reanimator, right? And they could have ways to reanimate my own creature, so... I think we're going to be looting away this Inquisition since, uh... It's well past its prime. Holy God. I could have made a 2-2 and given it haste, but I think we're going to look for at least one more land first. I mean, clearly they're not drawing very well either. Okay, Knight's Whisper, draw two. It's a start for them. What is this game? It's freaking hilarious. It's not bad. Okay, I mean, is this how we're going to win? Can't block it as Menace. I guess I should have moved the Greaves over to the Strix after attacking. Um... I just go to combat here. Because if they take five, they die to the Bowmaster. Dude, what is this game of magic? Oh, I should have. Sorry. I should have made a 2 2. And they're just going to vamp tutor for the Yolos. Ay, ay, ay. I think we should have uh, maybe 3 0'd with that deck. I shouldn't say that. That's not that true. But I think round two was a good matchup, maybe. Right? No, I shouldn't say that either. They had a lot of good cards versus me. They drew them, and I did not draw very well. So that's magic, baby. Nice little 2-1. That was a fun little combo deck. Oracle Brain Freeze, Breacher, some draw sevens, Reverse Bowmaster. Sure. As always, thanks for watching. More Vintage Cube probably going to be coming up. Uh, on YouTube for a little while, but we'll see. See you next time.